Hi, I'm Brett from Pod Active. Today we'll be replacing the padding on a K-Series brace. So our K-Series braces have moisture wicking antimicrobial padding within the K1, the K4 and the K8. It's obviously colour coded, so if you're replacing the K1 padding, it's orange. If you're replacing the K4 padding, it's red. And the K8 is going to be blue. If you have a K300 or a K700 brace, you can get padding kits for that. They will attach in a similar manner. So you've identified the need to replace your padding. If it's broken down over time, if it's torn, dirty, or just been worn out. Again, you can wash your padding, so we do recommend if you've had a long ride, if it's dirty, if it smells, we know you throw your uh, braces into a brace bag or into your gear bag, leave them until the next ride. You can pull all the padding out, it very simply unvelcros, stick it in the wash, you can either wash it without detergent, you can use soap, but no detergent or nothing with chemicals, I should say. Or what we do is encourage you to just put it in a bucket of warm water, wash it and let it air dry with just ambient air temperature. So now what we'll do is we'll actually take all the padding off, starting with the knee shim pads, the strap pads on strap one and strap two, we just simply peel those off. At the bottom of the brace, take off these frame pads, there's actually two pads down there. And then the upper frame, same thing, there's going to be two pads here. Once you've taken those off, you can inspect the brace. Again, make sure that there's no surprises, nothing's missing. All the male Velcro should be in place. When you open up your padding bag, whether it's the K1, K4 or K8, you will have the two lower frame pads, the two upper frame pads, the first and second strap pad, and the straps are numbered one, two, three, four. That's the successive order that you should put them on, as well as you'll get three of the uh, knee hinge housing pads, the gray thin, the black thick, as well as the black thims to really allow you to tailor the fit so that the hinge housings fit snugly against the inside of your knee. So now that we've un taken the new pads out of the, the package, I'm gonna start by putting in the upper. So we'll start with the upper pads, get that in place. You'll notice that these upper pads, as well as the lower, nest against the impact protection pads. So put the lower one on first, when I say the lower, this lower piece, as we did this piece first, and then straight over that goes the second part of that lower frame that will actually slide into, whoop, into place as so. The strap pads, they have the male Velcro on the back of them, so you, you can put them in place, though when you actually go to put your brace on, you may want to move those left or right so that they sit at the back of the calf and at the lower part of the hamstring. We're going to be putting the grey thin pads into this K8 knee brace today. So each knee pad or hinge pad has a thicker part and it tapers off to a thinner part at the back. So that thicker part will be at the front of the brace which is on the patella side of the brace. So put the thicker part toward the patella and that will actually be thinner tapering off to the back side of the brace which will be at the back of your knee. So ultimately you will have more support toward the front of your knee. That's how simple it is to replace the padding on your K-Series brace. With brand new padding, it's going to be a lot more comfortable. You'll enjoy your ride a lot more. Better contact and uh, support on the lower part of the brace, also up around your quad. So if you're replacing straps, the patella, or any other components on your K-Series brace, log on to podactive.com and check out our other videos.